morning, Joyce. Hi, How are you doing? I'm okay. Alright. So I finally saw Oh! When you just did, I'm okay. I was like, okay, okay. How was the end game like? Well, as no spoilers, but how was it like? I can't say. I want you to see yourself. Oh. Okay. No Alright, so we're going straight to the newspaper review for today. And um, I'm going to be reading The Guardian for today. Um, I have The Guardian for today, Monday, 29th April. EFCC recovered over 38 billion in four months, deposited over 5 billion. And mm. then the other one says Nigerians' daily crude production to rise by 160,000 barrels. And NAMA plans to upgrade airspace radio equipment. For more news, visit The Guardian online at www.guardian.ng. Neki, what do you have for us? Okay, coming home to Edo State, I have the Nigerian Observer for Monday, 29th of April. Now, the top story Nigerian Army sources for 1 billion naira to support vehicle manufacturing company, Brutai says. And also on the sports, Messi steals another La Liga title for FC Barcelona. That's a good one. And also, still on the armed forces, new salary hasn't been approved for armed forces, DHQ says. And for more news, you could visit www.nigerianobservernews.com for much more information. And as always, I have with me the Vanguard for the latest stories on www.vanguardngr.com. A 50 Edo youth commence Amazon Web Services program. 50 Edo Youth commence Amazon Web Services program. Still in the news, Wike orders intense grooming of rivers athletes. Wike orders intense grooming of rivers athletes. Jobs in 12 months, Lagos employs 740,146 people by the NBS. In jobs in 12 months, Lagos employs 740,146 people. By the NBS. For more news, of course, visit www.vanguardngr.com. All right, so um, we're going straight to today's topic for today for today's topic, and um, it's settling down or growing up. We'll go on a short break and when we return. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is still the breakfast show on CSL Nigeria TV on the beautiful Monday morning. Now, everyone has a dream, and everyone around each other has high expectations we expect from people, basically. But life has a way of happening and bringing events that comes our way that makes us veer off our dreams and make us become conformists in one way or the other. Today on the breakfast show, we'll be talking about growing up or settling. When should you grow up? Should you grow up off your dreams or should you settle for what we have? And that is why me and my ladies were sitting here today. I know Joyce, you're ready for this. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I'm ready. So because we had that conversation before we came on. Yeah. And and I saw that we had such different ideas and you all dream a lot and I love it. But we're going to talk Don't about you dream. It. You dream too. At night? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so ladies, let's define it. Growing up, settling, Joyce. Growing up is becoming an adult, basically. It's, it's, it's adulting at its finest. Of course, um, like Joanne said, you know, before we came on, there's no specific age for growing up. For growing up is when you finally decide to put on your adult pants okay. and say, I'm ready for reality. Okay. Okay. Selling, on the other hand, is just when you stop trying to actualize your dreams. You just stop trying. Not that you don't have them anymore, you just stop trying. Okay, so Joanne and Drew. Do you have a okay. point in view? Um, 
Not really. For me, growing up is when you leave your comfort zone. Okay. Like stepping out of your comfort zone, that is growing up. Then settling in is when you decided to accept whatsoever, what life gives you. Just, okay. okay. Let me just go with this. This is what I have now. So let me just settle in for this. So will you choose to grow up, you choose to settle? I think it goes hand in hand. Like when you settle, when you settle in, then you kind of grow up. I think, okay. I think it depends <laughs> on what you're settling for. So um, you're growing up, life is giving you choices and you, choose, you eventually decide and say, oh, this is what I want for my life. Now, um, one of the things that we're talking about was um, you can pursue a career. Girl, you just took my whole thought line. Now I have nothing to say. <laughs> you can <laughs> pursue a career and, and um, life brings choices and then you say, I'm so passionate about uh, let's say you're a writer. Mm -hmm. I'm so passionate about writing. I want to write, and this is my dream. I'm going to keep writing and keep putting out there so that people can notice me. And mm -hmm. then one day, don't tell you that food is not coming to your table. Do you understand? Does you passion, so passion does not pay. Passion does not pay. That's what passion we're pays. saying. I'm just oh, yeah. saying that you. I I personally feel what what at this point what is growing up. Growing up is you begin to set specific goals and decisions. Now you ask yourself, am I going to get a proper job? Nobody's saying don't pursue your, your dreams. What I believe is you're gonna get a proper job and say, I'm gonna keep pushing my dreams, so I'm gonna keep doing I'm gonna do something that's gonna put money in my pocket so that I can eat. You know, people are not going to um, encourage you and say you're doing well. Wow, you've been pushing your passion now for how many years now? Say ten years. Say wow, and then you've been a liability to everybody. <sighs> Nobody's gonna be happy with you at that. So you have to decide. Do you not say, Okay, I don't wanna settle. I want you not decide that I don't want to push my dream again. Well, I'm any one of us had any personal experiences where you felt like okay, I need to um, keep my passion aside and then really work. Especially life, where you have personal yeah. experiences for growing up. Okay, I mean, that's why I feel like people people get insulted when people assume that they've just settled. You settled that life. What if you just grew up? What if you just decided that okay, I'm going to face reality right now. This is what is on ground. I have younger ones. I have parents to feed. I have to send money home. And you know, this particular thing I'm doing is not really paying the bills. And they're like, oh, you just said it. Nah, I grew up. I realized is, that, that, is that growing up? Yeah. I, I realized that, I realized that there, there are the things that I need to do as an adult, a functioning adult in society. I mean, let's say I want to be an artist, which is all good and fine. And then I have the talent. Talent is very, very evenly distributed. Opportunities are not evenly distributed. Mm -hmm. Talent is everywhere. You might be a great singer, so is your neighbor and have five kids. Okay. And then you found out that you do not have the connects. You have tried to create your connects. It just didn't work. You put in the studio hours, then you release your song, and then they told you that you have to drop payola before we play your song for you. And you can't even afford payola. But your younger one is in school right now. Your mom has her tries to. She doesn't work anymore. There's no food at home. And you have a 2-1. Okay. Yeah. If I decide at that point that I'm going to go to the bank and get a job, I'm not settling. I'm growing up. So yes, wow. you are saying that um, I choose to get a bank job. But what do I do about my passion, my dream? My have you not heard the saying that you can use your nine to five to fund your dream? So, so I was about to say that. I mean, you could you could do what you have to do until you get where you're going to. What you're doing currently can lead you to where you're going, going to, to. Basically, it's not just to kill your dreams and just and your dreams can actually change and grow yeah, and yeah. be downsized. Then in their forties. Yeah, because you're growing up, so everybody, and once, you, once you start growing up, you start to say, okay, have I, have I been following the right path? Should I choose a new path? Do you understand? So Sugar many people have had, I, I think many people have had the experiences where they did several things at different times in their life. For example, okay. some people could have thought, some people could have thought, oh, maybe my dream is to become a very good teacher, and then at some point, just don't know you, that, that that's not your thing. Please quit teaching so you don't ruin your life. And then maybe, you know, but you keep discovering yourself, and I think that's what growing up does. Growing up means that you keep discovering yourself, and then you pick one thing and you say, I'm going to stick with this thing, and I'm going to keep going. I want the thing that's work for you, just keep going. You keep pushing. You keep pushing. Until it doesn't I'm happen. pushing, and then you keep making the right decisions. You, you're sure that every time you push, you make the right decision, is what you're saying. People don't make mistakes. People make People mistakes. Do make mistakes. Your entire passion could be a mistake. <laughs> 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 we have different passions. Your, your entire passion could just be a whole, I, I a whole mistake. I think that at some point, it's will settle. I think that you okay. keep pushing. Are you Joy, are you so when you're done pushing, you now settle. Because you when for me when you settle is when you actually find that thing that really makes you feel happy, and that is settling. Settling is not explained as being happy. Is 
taking whatever taking, like taking lemonade 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 lemonade. Lemonade. Yes. and making lemonade and forgetting that you don't even have sugar for your lemonade. So now you're drinking lemon and water. <laughs> oh okay, my so lord! That's <laughs> like my best drink. Okay, John. When I um I finished my secondary school, I managed to read law. Okay. So I read jam and I didn't get law. I kept getting test and media arts. And then at the point I felt, oh, the project was too much and I just had to settle for theater media. And then today I'm happy I made that choice. You're welcome. Mm. <laughs> On behalf of I and Life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a few comments. Mark in day say morning, ladies. Morning, morning. 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 We missed you. We did miss you. Ajiro <laughs> <laughs> missed you. <laughs> so how are you today? Ajiro is alive in a blue dress. <laughs> I'm like following her passion <laughs> and you know making all the right decisions on the way. No, let's, let, let me ask you guys this question. Okay. What is a dream? Now, see what I mean by what is a dream. Okay. People always assume that as an adult or as a person, there's a thing that makes you tick. Okay. Now, there are tons of people that have nothing that actually makes them tick career wise. Okay. And they're out there feeling like they're failures, that their life isn't working. Do we need to have dreams? Do we all need to have dream, purpose, passion? I, 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 passion, I, passion falls you most times. Now, irrespective of whether you're leaving a particular dream, now because you have this picture of where you're going to, mm -hmm. like there's something you're passionate about, you want to have certain certain goals set aside. You want to be a CEO one day. You want to be the have the biggest media out, 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 mm -hmm. outfit one day, or you want to have the biggest fashion line one day. Mm -hmm. Now passion pushes you. Now irrespective of how much everything around you at that time is not working, mm -hmm. you keep telling yourself, "Okay, there's a picture in mind. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep you know reaching out." So it's good to dream. Mm -hmm. But you have to be well motivated. It's good to have a dream. I believe it's good to have a dream. Mm -hmm. You should have a dream, mm -hmm. and it, because it pushes you, it wants you, it makes you want to do so much more. Well, my, my question, my my, my, my question is, yeah, so I was going to say that because Joyce says that everybody wants to be thick in their dream. When you want to talk about your dream, you talk about where you want to be. Yeah. Everybody's expecting you to lay out a five-year plan, yeah. a ten-year plan, yeah, and come on, it, 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 some women's dream is just to get married and have kids. kids. Yeah, and just have been to live in my parents' house. Uh, no, please no. That can be a dream. You see what I did just now. You see what I did just now. That was just, just that was just what a practical I example. Really like my mom's cooking, and when I wake up every morning, I'm like, ah, mom, just, don't. Just, 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 <laughs> I to you that your mom will walk up to you one oh, day and say, my daughter, what is the way forward for your life? She said, if I have a minute, she should move out. It's my father's house. I'm joking. But then she go back to our house. Before Abraham, there were men. Jesus is still in his father's house. That's Jesus. Before Abraham, there were men. If Jesus is still in <laughs> you can't <do> <laughs> no, but my, my point from what I, I, I saw the way I reacted to when I you didn't said even see you. I'm okay, offended that, now. Okay. Should I be offended? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the way I reacted personally when you said your dream is just to be in your father's house mm -hmm. and just sit and eat, you know. But that's that, the thing. That, 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 that's that's what I'm I'm trying to I have to now recall and say, Oh, that would be a dream. I should be comfortable with a dream. But our society wants it that we should want more for ourselves. Yeah, we should want more out of the box. We should think out of the box. So when everybody is trying to tell you, oh, my dream plan, oh, I want to be this, I want to be innovative, I want to be that, I want to be that. But sometimes, you know, it's best we understand the simplicity of other people's dreams and help them push. Irrespective. I don't want to help you push if you don't want to push. What if you don't want to push? And they they push at their pace. Push. Maybe people push, push, push at their pace. Wants to so push. push. Nobody wants to remember where they are. No, I mean, five years that, to come. Don't you push. Some people that, just want to wake up. up for more. Some people just some people do not want more. That is it. Some people are at a level of content that is so strange. Like all they want to do, they want to wake up in the morning, take a shower, put on their suit, go to the nine to five that they don't really care about, come back and drink in as much as in money. And on Monday they want they just want to earn and just live their life. And now they're having to do with society telling them that they're not good enough for wanting those things, that they're enough for, they're not enough think, for not wanting more. I think more. everybody wants to really move forward. And now they're, they're struggling to find something that they're passionate about, even maybe they don't even know it yet. The real question for me would be, don't they want more deep down in their heart? Really, everybody want wants more. more. Think, no. You don't know no, no, there's some people, some people can be very comfortable, like, like be in their comfort zone. It's a problem from the, for them to step out. So, um, 
growing up basically like we're set we've established it's not specific give yes. them time it's they might not get it now they may get it later, later. because life has a way of bringing lots of twists that would jog your memory jog mm. your brain and say oh what am i really doing with my life i need to get something doing so like you have something doing they go to work yeah, no, yes I, i'm not saying they go to work one day something will just happen that will just make them check and like oh i don't live my life like this you don't know that you and your friend. a lot of people want the same life and that's what I'm, I'm not i'm not has made them feel like they're not good enough i'm not this i'm not life. that's I'm something not, is wrong with them I, for just wanting the same for life that's something is wrong with them because they just want a three-bedroom flat and a small <laughs> dog that something is wrong with them because they do not want to be the chief executive officer they don't want to be that's what i'm saying i'm they're saying struggling with they're struggling with people making them feel that they're not enough that, that they're it. not good enough to be in society because they do not want to drive the latest BMW because they are okay with that girl like S. But that is a nice car. I love it. <laughs> okay, so so is something I'll... wrong with you from all your explanations now? Is something wrong with you if all you truly want deep in your heart is to finish school, get married, have two boys, and open a boutique? Why is that dream not big enough? Why do uh, I have to want to be the CEO? You don't have to want to be the CEO. If that, I believe people need to learn how to accept people for who oh, they are and their choices they make. Now, what happens is most times people feel your choice is not good enough, but it's not their life. It's mm. your life. You decide what you want with your life. And then you say, I want to be a married woman with two kids, oh, have think. a beautiful husband and be in a boutique. That's my life goal. And the other guy saying, I want to have, um, I want to have, and then that's all you want i think people the society because from, from what you're saying now is society is putting pressure on yes. them now society should learn to leave those people to discover themselves at their own time now if they don't discover themselves it's their life it's their choice it's not your business but we're going to like pretend that we don't look at them as failures no no I think no like, no. like, um, no. like said i think they we're should not learn bigger. no i think it starts with you you should learn to accept who you want to be when you accept who you want to be i don't think the pressure of society will affect you in any you way okay you won't even care what they think about you so i think if you are comfortable that you want to just get married have your kids and you're okay then accept it, that's who you are. Just be comfortable with who you want to be. And I'm not saying, I, didn't, I don't think the, if you accept who you are, then the project of society won't get to you. True. Okay, so have some comments. MCDJ Energy says, TSL got the best team ever. Woo! So I can't take you anyway, you're <laughs> I, I will answer you. I will answer you. Thank you, Drew and Cole. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, um, uh, Mackin Day says, Edro, you nailed it. Joanne, can I hear your opinion also? But I think that came before you said something. So I think she's heard your opinion. Okay. All right. So, so yes, growing up or settling, where is the line? I guess we have to ask that at this time. Okay. Where, 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 where do you say that I have grown up or I have settled? Joanne, what do you think? I think you, you say you've grown up when you accept what life has given you. When you wanted something and life brought um another stuff your way and it's certainly i think for me you've grown up so for you for you is growing up yes wow <laughs> that's, that's a very weird perspective okay let me yes, hear your it's, it's weird it's it's somewhat weird I'm, I'm, I'm still processing this in my head okay Andrew, <laughs> Andrew. do you believe that growing up is settling i think well, i didn't know i was gonna hear that but i love it yeah I love that that's I heard that's, it. that's that's i love that i heard it I, I think for me growing up is when um like brings a decision to your face and you decide what you want now you grow up and say you either say i'm gonna stick with my dream or you say i'm gonna push for more either way you've grown up either way you've grown up it's making hard life decisions, decisions. choices you, know? uh -huh. you basically have to make a choice decide what you want do you want to stay where you are and say because i have a dream and a passion i'm not going to push for more or you you know like you said for you could use other things to fall your passion so you have to make a choice because some people are just lazy for me. Don't insult me on TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's why you have to stay your mother for eight months. Now you, you have to make a choice. You have to grow up. You grow up and you say, I have to do this to achieve this. You're not settling. You're making a life choice. Mm -hmm. Now when you choose to settle is when I think when you come to that place where you accept that I can get more and I reached out for more and I have more. Now I'm living my dreams. I'm confused. <laughs> you said a lot of really nice things and they were all making sense but i'm confused are you saying that 
So you're saying that growing up is when you decide that you're going to suffer till you die. Mm -hmm. You're going to hustle more. As far as you have made the decision to do it, you're yes, now you grown up. you make a choice. You're grown up. So we're saying the same thing now, basically. Like, whether the choice is to die from suffering, so or the choice is, is your choice. Out, wear a suit and go to a job you hate, or the choice is to struggle, whichever one, at the point you decide that this is what I'm going to do, that is growing up for you. Yes. Neki, I used to sitting on it. I think at the end of the day, personally, I want to look back and tell myself I lived a fulfilled life. Okay. And I'm satisfied. Okay. So when I'm settled, I'm going to settle at the point where I'm fulfilled, personally. Mm -hmm. Now, growing up means that I have to make a lot of decisions. It might be right, it might be wrong, but it's going to, the end goal is going to be to settle. That's for me. So I know you're, you're looking confused right now. Don't be. But the point I'm trying to make is, in the process of growing up, I'm going to make decisions that's going to point at which at which I'm going to settle for. What am I settling for at the end of the day? What am I? What am I going to achieve? I, I may not get exactly. it now. Sorry, I may not get it now in my twenties. I may get it in my forties. So mm -hmm. I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a hurry. To I have my dreams. First of all, my dreams has to be valid, realistic dreams. Mm -hmm. Dreams that I know that they are feasible. And when I when I look at them, I know that I can achieve them. First of all, so I have realistic dreams. Mm -hmm. So my dreams, of course, will be there. But settling for me, it's when I now have achieved my dreams. And settling in this in this term is that you didn't achieve your dreams. That is that is where we're looking at settling from. Settling generally, don't say, ah, this man just settled. It means that he had bigger dreams and they never happened and decided so that to just leave it. That means you're saying settling. You could have like diversified dreams. If your dream had always been to have... settle for pot belly later. You understand? You wanted to have Jason Mama, but here you are with... Say it. Don't worry, pot belly... Faith. Ugly mustache. Faith. I can't say it. <laughs> so you know that is you settling. Yeah. So are you saying that okay, if your dream is Jason Mama and you get Jason Mama, you have settled. You have not settled now. You have achieved. So where is the line for you? Where, where, where would you say you? There always the the, 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 the the subjective line here is that this is where we are right now. Okay. This is um your job. Your dream is to have ten million dollars in your account. And right now you have three million because you had to make some changes you had to make some decisions as you went on so at this your three million dollars level now we're saying that how do you decide if you grew up and decided to take that or you just hit it because that's what you found hmm. i could just settle i'm not saying i would settle for the three million i believe Dollars, there is more so. i know i believe there is no, more I even if we, could, we don't get a ten we could get a, a five or yes. seven okay. so that's a compromise in in the process of settling you must compromise uh -huh. one but the, the compromise should be one that you're settled with and you know that you could live with yes. uh -huh. it's, not, it's not a compromise that when you look back you'll be like oh, what, what was it better. for circle did back to my question now you've decided to manage your five million did you grow up or did you settle did you grow up to say i that? made a compromise so did because you i didn't stay at did three I, I didn't stay at three i didn't get i didn't get a 10 so did you grow up or did you settle i stuck at the middle i i i, I feel she <laughs> i'm not i'm not going to say i'm not going to say, 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 say right say so growing up is not subjective but settling can really be subjective i like this this thought as thank well. you mr bright yeah, yeah. so right, what so. what i would say is now um i have three million and my goal is 10 million I really love this money example. I would, <laughs> I would not like to settle for that, but it, it, I feel my life has not ended. Uh -huh. What am I settling? Uh -huh. So wait, I can get more. Do we have now? like wait, a... Can't you settle and then want to be... As in, settle is you accepting. You don't move from settling. Wow. wow. So you say you're saying... You're just settling. Oh my God. That is what happens. That is what means that you're settled. You yes, see, you that's struggled. why you say yes, I know. You struggled and struggled and struggled. And you're like, do you know what? Okay. Cannot come and die. Mm -hmm. You settled for it. Yeah. I wanted a light-skinned man, but man is chocolate, so what's up? <laughs> I wanted it to be six feet, but five eight is also fine. So you settled. Oh my God. So you did settle. I think so. I think can settling be seen as you just being an adult about it? about life so you choose to be an adult and say i'm not gonna do anything anymore i i, I don't feel we should settle okay at any point if yeah. you don't get what you want i don't think that that is doing more for yourself uh -huh. i don't think that i think I, I i believe that there's so much more you could have done and then you it will dawn on you one day and i feel for me satisfaction uh -huh. you don't want to wake up one morning and say why did i settle why in heaven's name did i ever settle uh -huh. for three million 
when I could have gotten more than 10 million self and then I just chose to wake up one morning. So I don't feel, I don't believe in settling. Uh -huh. I believe in settling when you're sure you have really achieved what you wanted. And uh -huh. even when you settle, you should still reach out for more. Uh -huh. You shouldn't just be comfortable and say... Because the truth is, the truth is, sorry, because the truth is, uh, even when you settle, you still have to push at the level you're settling oh, yes. at. And for instance, you gave the example of the 3 million, the 5 million. What am I supposed to do to make my 3 million sustainable what okay. a medicine business so it's let not me, like let me paint this picture that... for you for something okay. so we're all on the same page you're going to be rounding up by the way so i love this conversation you guys are amazing remind me to buy you a drink in two weeks time. if you don't buy <laughs> If you don't buy the drink. <laughs> okay, see, 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 see where selling and growing up is, is at a tangent right now. Okay, you have your three million since we're using the money thingy. Now, you have the possibility of investing two million of that three million. And in five years or ten years time, you're going to get to ten million. Yay, right? Yeah, you but didn't then, to. Wait, let me finish now. You know, it's exciting. But then from that two million, you have three younger ones in private university that are going to drop out if you do not pay their school fees. I'm sorry, what? At that time. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you hard decisions where you have to grow up, right? You have three younger ones that are entirely dependent on you. That if you do not pay those fees, they are going to drop out of school, all three of them. Your mother needs surgery. She's flying to India or wherever it's happening. Okay. So all well, this is just be hard. That's what adulting is. Adulting is hard. It is not. It is not. It is not a, a bed of roses. It is, a choice. it is not a bunch of easy decisions. Choice. I feel that life may bring things your way, but there are compromises that can be played. Okay, so two drop out. Many one. Because um, because <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just this. This is this is what you have on your because, table right exactly, now. This is so life. Life. Because because choice at dollars. <laughs> it's not naira. I don't. I don't know if I'm Julia. Who comes out to a million dollars? Schooling in Switzerland. No, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. You can't do it. You know, if you want to do it, if you want to do it, then they were very rich. Joy, you know the bad decision, so the bank took all the money. So now it's just a million dollars. Oh lord. They are schooling. I'm not saying. There's always be a way out. There's always a way out. There's always a way out. There's always a way out. And there's a way we can come to a compromise and make sure that nobody drops out. Yes. There's something called deferment. You can defer the admission for a while and put a process to make sure those they are paid. We can switch to another school mm -hmm. or something. You can transfer to a school that is affordable. You believe you transfer is that easy. Put you tried to transfer before? Um, Even in the same school, just the different departments. And then in your final year, you define that you're not in Deferment is a good option. Exactly. Deferment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, we have a couple of comments. Okay. Mr. Bryce is really into this conversation. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Mr. Really Bryce. Us. So Mr. Bryce says, the way settling is being emphasized is making some person scared. Above all, it's cheaper to be married if you get the right choice. The greatest challenge is trying and settling at a certain amount. Some ladies and guys have missed it. They forget that when you're joined to someone, you need to level up. On the process of leveling up, one would increase and the other would decrease. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, okay. that's more. It means that ability to compromise is the key. It would be better for you to tie your settling to someone with a vision and mission than merely material things that can be readily consumed by any circumstance. Yeah. That's that's so I would like to be like settling like for. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bright. We didn't need so many more comments aside, Mr. Bright. Although our time is far spent and we have to round up this conversation, I feel like going around and hugging you guys because mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be with such smart ladies that believe in everything. So idealistic, almost unbelievably idealistic, but I love it. So thank you. Okay. So for me, I feel like people should understand, like I said before, talent is equally distributed and opportunity is not no. equally distributed. And we should understand that a lot of people do not have things the same way we have them. For example, now, if things go really south in my life, I know that I can go back home to my parents' house. I know that I will have a place to stay. I know that I will have a place to get food. So many people out there do not have those options. Living in the country that we're in right now, our poverty level is so high. Almost 100 million Nigerians are living in poverty. So as much as we understand that we have options, some people do not have options. And if you find yourself in a place that you feel like you have zero options and you have truly tried, do not be out there judging yourself, feeling yeah. like you gave up on yourself. You didn't. You just grew up. Hey. Any final words? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can't choose. I can't choose. Thank you guys so much for this morning. It's been amazing. We love you. We love how you join us every morning. I would love for you to join us all the way at YouTube FC. So go on right now on YouTube. Look for T. 
SL Langer, Space TV, and remember to subscribe and hit the notifications button so that all the videos we have out, you get to see all of them. Remember, we have brand new shows. We have the weekend rundown every Saturday from 10 o'clock. We have several of our one on one episodes that are mind blowing. And of course, we have a brand new show, Music and Me, with MC, DJ, Energy, all on TSL Nigeria. And we have a couple of surprise shows coming for you this week. So, yeah, it's packed. Have yourself a lovely week. My name is Joyce Jukes. And I'm Joanne Gigbe for me. Thank you, Moyo. Hey, Jerome, Moyo, Good morning, and thank you. Good morning. Bye. Thank you.